Hi everybody, I am back today, finally, after months of being gone. Um, I do have a good excuse this time for being gone so long. Um, I was in the middle of uploading my very first video for my Halloween card series and my computer died. Um, so I've been without a computer for the last few months and we just got one yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. Um, so now I can upload videos again. So that's my excuse, and I do apologize for not doing the Halloween card series. I had a few of you email me and um, ask, you know, or just kind of let me know that you were excited to see the cards and everything, and so I didn't even end up doing um, any more after that first one because <laughs> I figured, why would I if I can't film them? So um, I'll show you really quick. The one that I did get done is right here. And I was really, really happy with the way it came out. I was kind of going for a chalkboard theme. Um, and I used, most of these stamps are from the Kelly Perky Halloween stamp set. And then a couple of these, like this guy and this, and the star and the boo. And I think this guy too is from the Paper Smooches Halloweenies stamp set. But the rest of like the words and stuff are all from the Kelly Perky stamp. Um... I think it's just Halloween or something, but it came out a couple years ago. And then the paper is Glitz Raven and then just a little bit of orange twine from the twinery. So really simple. And then on the inside, I just did a strip of that paper again and then a little chalkboard looking thing on there. So that was the first card. I know Halloween's long gone now, <laughs> but I did want to go ahead and show you what it looked like. Um, and yeah, so again, I apologize for not being able to do that. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a Christmas card series. I might do a couple of cards here and there. I really don't know. Um, and yeah, one of the other things that happened while I was gone was that we moved to a town, the town that's closest to my husband's work. It's still, his job is still about 50 miles out, but um, they ride a bus out, so we are like a couple blocks away from where the bus picks them up and stuff so that's been really nice he's been able to be home at least two hours longer every day that he works so we can actually spend more than 15 minutes with him um while he's working it's it's been really really good and nice to have him around a little bit more um i know my boys love that because they hated not being able to see him for very long at all and so, I mean, so did I, of course, but it was, I think, toughest on the kids because they didn't, they don't understand, um, as much as I do. So, <laughs> um, let's see, what else? I think that's all. I did a craft fair uh, at the beginning of the month and I did pretty good. It was my very first craft fair and I kind of just did home decor type stuff. So, I did some book page wreaths and some throw pillows that were all decorated and um, I did some, like, gift card holders, or not gift card, but, um, like, Christmas card holder things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I did some sugar scrubs and some gift tag little packs and things like that. And I pretty much sold a little bit of everything. I didn't completely sell out of anything, but I did pretty good and I was happy with the results. So I'm going to be doing another craft fair, um for or around March or April so I'm already kind of brainstorming for like Easter spring decor and even like some Mother's Day gifts and stuff like that so I'm brainstorming right now but I don't want to start like full-blown because I only had three weeks to prepare for the last one and my house was a complete disaster during those three weeks. My husband <laughs> was definitely glad that it was over so that the house could get back in order. So, um, yeah, but anyways, speaking of home decor and stuff like that, um, if any of you follow my blog, you know that it's a very, very sad blog <laughs> and I don't blog very often. And I feel like the reason for that is because normally I would share a card on there. So if I do a card series, I'll post every video, like I'll post the video and I'll do a quick little um, rundown of the things that I used on my blog post. Um, but I feel like it's very repetitive because if I, 
I say what I used in the video and then I post it on my blog and so I, I have a hard time finding what to say about the card or whatever plus I feel like a picture is pretty self-explanatory um, so I just I'm kind of at a loss for words when it comes to stuff like that so what I've decided to do is to kind of put some fire under my own butt and get to blogging more is to kind of I mean I want to post some cards every now and then but I also want to start doing like home decor DIY type stuff so for Christmas um, since we moved, I've kind of started to revamp all of my decor um, into a more rustic feel, which I love. So um, I'm I'm gonna do I don't know if it'll be a, a series per se, but um, I'm gonna start off with Christmas and just basically post photos of things, projects that I'm doing, and then I'll at the end I'll show you like the whole setup. And I'm really excited about that, and I hope you guys will hop on over to my blog. I'll put a link below for it. Um, I'm hoping to start that next week, probably around mid to late week. I don't know. It really depends. Um, I've been doing... Um, I bought... I didn't buy... I got some palettes for free. So I had my hubby make me a couple of little shutters out of them. And those came out really cute, so I might share those. Um... Obviously, I can't share the process, but <laughs> um, it's a really simple process, so I could I feel like I could explain it pretty well and then just post a photo of them. Um, so that's kind of another thing that I want to do. And along with that, um, I'm getting a new 50 mil lens for my Nikon. Um, I got a year a year and a half ago. I got a Nikon D90 for my birthday, and I've been messing with it and really in the last few months have really been digging into photography and figuring my camera out and all that kind of stuff. So um, my husband's actually giving me my Christmas present early, um, which is the 50 millimeter. And I know when I got it, everyone was like, you need the 50 mil. And at that time, I didn't feel like I needed it because I, I really wanted to learn my camera first before I... Um, started buying lenses and all that kind of stuff so um, now I'm to that point where I feel like this is kind of the next thing that I really want to do so I may also include some photography type stuff on my blog as well so if any of you are interested in that I don't know that I'll include like the specs of what I did for each photo but I'll just include like my sister is gonna have me do their Christmas photos um, this year at the end of the month so um, if they come out good, <laughs> um, I will include those on my blog. Um, so it's going to be cards every now and then, um, home decor stuff, like DIY home decor stuff, and then photography as well. So I hope that that will motivate me to post more often, and hopefully everyone will enjoy it, and I can get some more followers on my blog, because <laughs> I don't have very many, and I don't blame... I don't blame people because it's really not interesting when I post about my cards. So, anyways, that's just kind of a brainstorm that I had. Um, and every once in a while I'll post a card on there, like if I don't get to make a video I'll throw it on my blog so that people can see it. But So I may end up doing that with my Christmas cards because I don't know that I'll get to making a video. I'm not planning on quitting videos at all, I still plan on doing hauls and project life and all that kind of stuff. On my videos so don't feel like I'm abandoning my videos um, it's, I just want to continue with the blog thing so um, yeah so that's just a little brainstorm that I had um, I'm really excited I actually almost 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 finished my December daily from last year <laughs> um, I had someone ask me not too long ago if I ever finished or showed my finished um, album from last year and I never did but I have it here now and I just have very few little like little stamping things or adding little embellishments here and there that I want to do to the last few pages so I'll probably share that in another video and then I do have a haul coming um, just a few little things that I've picked up for my new December daily I, I am gonna do another one this year but I'm gonna completely change the way that I did it um, so that hopefully I can actually get it done just after the first of the year and not another year from now. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so I was excited to get it most of the way finished. Like I said, I just have a couple little embellishments and stamping things that I want to do to the last few pages. But um, I can do that. I'll probably do that actually right after I'm done filming this video so that I can make another one to show you the finished album. Excuse me. Um, that was my first December daily and it ended up not even being like a daily album. It was more like an advent countdown thing. Um, and kind of the reason I decided to do that was because I didn't want to have, I didn't want to put the pressure on myself to take a photo every single day, um, during this crazy time of year, even though generally I do take photos every day, but I mean, I just didn't want that pressure and I didn't want to have to go back and remember what day I took that picture and all that kind of stuff. And this advent thing ended up being the same pain in the butt that I was trying to avoid because each day we had a certain activity so I had to find the photo that went with that activity and uh, it was it was more of a pain than I wanted it to be so this year I'm just planning on taking pictures of Christmassy things like our Christmas tree, our Christmas decorations, Christmas cookies, cocoa, you know, visiting Santa, all that kind of stuff. Just taking photos of that kind of stuff and just putting it in the album and just being like, this happened in December. <laughs> it's just so much easier that way for me. So um, I'll show you the album that I bought for that and a couple other little things like the paper pack and a stamp set and stuff like that that I bought specifically for um, this year's December Daily. And like I said, I'll show, I'll show the rest of this one um, in another video. So... Anyways, hopefully you guys will join me for that, and um, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers, um, <laughs> and now I have new things for you to watch for all of you, and not just my new ones, but um, yeah, so thanks for hanging in there while I didn't post videos for forever, and I will hopefully talk to you very, very soon. So thanks guys, talk to you later, bye!